One of the most common problems for 3D artists in general is time, because sitting in front of the monitor for hours without achieving a lot can be a real issue, especially when doing repetitive boring tasks. It's so for a developer or user tries to find solutions for that by coming up with some tools and add-ons to accomplish certain tasks as efficiently as possible while increasing productivity. So in today's episode of Blender Add-ons, we're gonna talk about an add-on called Modifier Shortcut Keys. It is very simple and can be useful for any Blender user. Also, it is free. There are three features that are really interesting about it. First of all, you don't have to go each time to the modifier section and all you need is your keyboard to do that. Secondly, adding and editing the modifiers can be synchronized to more than one object. And finally, the modifiers that are accessible by this add-on are numerous and assigned by the keyboard alphabet keys from A to Z. To start using this add-on, you have to press the F key and a new tab will appear in the user interface. You'll notice that it contains the shortcut keys colored with blue and the shortcut modifiers next to them. If you want to shorten and facilitate the work, you can select two objects and add the modifier to both of them by the same method. That's how you can modify two elements using the same shortcut key and modifier. The values in the modifier section are tweaked either at the same time or each one separately by holding control while adding the modifier. To explain it further, the synchronizing feature consists of adding the driver to the active object, scripted by the data path of the first selected driver values. Finally, the modifiers that are in the list are 26, which covers only the essential modifiers. But there is a question that we have to ask. Why do you need this add-on? And what is the difference that it makes since we already have some options that offer the same functions such as quick favorites and Blender's default assigned shortcut system? First of all, these three have the same functions, and all of them use the same principles. But in terms of speed and efficiency, the add-on is much better for two reasons. First, it is already set for you to use, which is great. And secondly, it doesn't use complex shortcut keys. So the process of getting used to it will be much easier. While on the other hand, the quick favorites don't use shortcuts and Blender's default assigned shortcut system will take you some time to figure out what kind of shortcut suits you and which one of them is still available to be used. The same thing can be applicable to the synchronized feature. You can link several objects modifiers to the active one using the Alt plus Ctrl plus L shortcut key by default, but their values can be changed automatically unless you apply the driver on them, which is already done by the add-on. On a side note, the only three missing things I can see in this add-on are, first of all, the fact that it doesn't include all the modifiers. In addition, its panel takes a large area of the viewport, which is not gonna be a big problem, but it can be a disturbing factor when working on complex projects. And finally, you can access it using your keyboard in the edit mode. That is why you have to go to the end panel for that. For sure, this add-on speeds up the modeling process and makes it much easier. If you are a 3D modeler who uses Blender, you will probably find it amazing. Its simple UI will suit both beginners and experienced artists, not to mention that it is a free tool. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.